All right, hey guys, welcome to another session of Epic 7. We're gonna be doing Code's account review. So the last time I reviewed his account, he was still using his old name, Anemnesis. Now he's called Kodru. He's in Trap House right now, which is a top guild. Uh, we're gonna take a look at what's changed. If you guys have watched that uh, YouTube video, you would roughly know where Code lies, but uh, he's uh, he's reformatted a lot of his heroes now for RTA specifically. Uh, actually, wait, let's take a look at his RTA rank. Um, it looks like he says you're a master, but I know that's a bug. It's a visual bug. So he's in Legend. He's rank 15 with a 62% win rate. That's very, very, very good. Um, being a Legend player. Uh, something about if he loses, he loses like 14 points or something. And if he wins, he gets like 7. Something ridiculous. So he, he pretty much has to keep up, keep up his wins um, in order to stay at the rank he is. So that's pretty good. Uh... Helga, yeah, Helga, man. Helga's chilling. We got Tempest Surin too? Alright. Well, no, I'm not surprised at what you got, but I'm more surprised at what uh, what you have, what you will have built. Let's take a look. One thing is, uh, he said to look at his artifacts as well. It's, uh, it's, it's okay, this is definitely more than last time. I think last time we looked, you only had one plus 30 Sigurd Scythe, and now you have two. Got one on ML Ken. You got one on Ken. Perhaps RTA for the self-sustaining. Uh, you still have that one Draco plate. You never kept two copies. You got Durandal. You have a specialty drink there, a Tika Scepter, a Pistol Crown, two Albert Social Swords at plus 30. I think that's new as well. Holy Sacrifice now, Unfading Memories. Ah, right, right, right. We pulled that one together. Celestine's Max, you got three plus 30 rods? What? Uh, heck Okay, uh Violet Talisman I know you do use on Violet Alexis Basket, you have one One max Proof of Valor, Isle of Violin Hell Egg Lance, Adam and Shield Aureus, Aureus, Megara's Tome Water's Origin You're using Ruel Maid Chloe Dust Devil, Moonlight Dream Blade, okay, so we get into the Four star territory, I think Okay, so the five-star artifacts. Dang, that's a lot of investment. T time to look at builds. Time to look at builds. I think RB always comes first. If you want like whale, it's like no code is free to play. All right, so I know that code actually still uses Ken. Um, so let's take a look. All right, plus thirty Sigur Scythe. Very solid, um, 192 speed, that's very fast with a speed buff, 87 crit rate, good damage, attack is slightly lower, and HP is pretty good. It's on a speed boot too, so that HP is very good for HP, HP, oh, sorry, for a speed boot. That HP is insanely good. On a crit set, a code... I remember, did you, um, y you went with that high attack build, right, before? How was that compared? Like, did you notice a difference? Because I know that Ken does scale on high attack, but he had something like a near 3k attack, or was it 3k? 3k attack Ken with, like, decent HP and, like, 150 or so, so speed. But I don't remember the results. It's clearly that you didn't trust it because you went back to this one. Um... It does more, but too squishy. Oh, it's a 16k HP? Okay. 16k HP. 10 speed, crit chance. Good stuff. Good stuff. How are you getting that health? I don't see... Oh, you were going... Oh, I see. He went for the health. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah, because generally to get a 20... 21... Or 20,000 plus HP. Generally, you need a good solid, like, two HP right sides. So, at least 120, like, minimum. 120. That's how you did it. Okay, your crit damage is insane, then. Uh, realistically, he's getting the equivalent of uh, HP ring, HP boot, crit damage neck. With, like, good substats splashed around. 
but be able to pull that off he can he run a speed boot um which is very beneficial for fire can fire can with high speed is insanely scary because he could defense break potentially even lap you and then uh and then kill you so that's awesome plus 15 uh he's got a b imprint so six percent on top of that on his 7000 uh, hp base very strong Uh, we got a Ravi, not built. Uh, Soul Tieria. Did you not recall her? I'm just thinking, like, and she has some. Are you using her? Some big brain play? Tieria is great again? Uh, comment rating is valid is 15%. No? Why is she level 60? Why is she max awakened and also has a plus 4? Just waifu? Okay, code is bored, man. Code is bored. I'm no, just kidding. Fire Cecilia not used. Chaos not used. Alright, so should we go for CP? Maybe we should filter with CP. Otherwise, they're just gonna be... Alright, let's go for... Alright, Melissa. Uh, on Atika Scepter, 186. I don't think you've changed her much. This has always been impressive. Um, he had an early build of Melissa. That's very, very strong with the speed and on immunity set. This seven crit rate could be made up by uh, by anyone with uh, like a bloom artifact or or just even a crit rate imprint. Good rules. You got 34 effectiveness on top of that. Uh, on immunity set, this is actually very impressive. Wow, it, whoa, crit rate. What's 275 crit damage? Wow, still very impressed. Still, I mean, like, like I, I've, I've, I've improved over the time since our last review. But this is like, it's like the rolls, man. The level of rolls here. They're very impressed. Um, 186 speed too. All right, all right. So next, Arby, he's changed it, right? Twelve thousand HP, Arby with one thousand defense, very tanky. Uh, one seventy speed, eighty-eight crit rate, two hundred sixty crit damage, and a four thousand attack. Health is sixteen, twelve speed, crit rate. Oh wow, health 26, 13 crit chance. What a good, uh, and flat health too. What a good, uh, what a good neck. No immunity? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no immunity. No immunity on this RB. 170 speed, no immunity. Code, come on, man. This is a terrible, this is a terrible build. I'm just kidding. 28 health, interesting, interesting. So this would definitely be uh, good to, like he says. So, so most of his characters are RTA. Um, so I have a list of what he uses stuff for. But um, in terms of RTA RB, if he has uh, provided a, a barrier or a damage mitigation on this, he won't be easy to kill. If people, well, depends on what people use. But all right, ten speed, crit chance, twelve, and attack flat. Huh. Okay. Okay, we got a violet. Okay, so he's ah, so you're not on a life steal violet, but he. That's still really good. The attack is slightly low, but the crit damage is good. The speed is good. The HP is good. On a with a vile uh, violet talisman. Let's see what you roll here. Twenty seven health. Twenty seven health. Ten crit chance. Eight speed. So you rolled pretty high health. And one in speed, one in crit chance. Another 25 health. Another speed roll, two crit rate rolls. A very high health rolls. And another 25 crit damage. Health, flat health, crit rate, health. And we got the 12 crit rate. Okay, that's good stuff for him. Defense is 27 on this crafted one. 
or drop. Uh, crit damage. You got some unusable substats there. And you got uh, crit rate defense, at health and attack. Speed boot. Don't look, re. Yeah, too bad, man, too bad. Re. We're taking a look, man. Take a look, man. Well, I mean, 27 defense. I mean, you do want this. It's just, yeah, this is having two really unusable stats there. But I know you want that defense on your violets. 400 attack, then last build. The rest, same stats. So 400 less attack? Okay. K Ron. K Ron, I know you, you, you weren't a real big K Ron fan before. But now you have gone to the dark side. You have the Silence EE. 174 speed, 94 crit rate, 250 crit damage on 3004. No imprints. So, this one, other than it being fast, it's pretty weak, right? Tank Kron. It is pretty tanky. It is pretty tanky. Um. Tank Kron abuse. It is pretty tanky. I mean that that defense and that health there. Um. I mean Kron gets. That's the thing. Kron gets multiple turns. It's scary stuff. Uh. So I mean I've never seen this really work in practice, but I think it can. Twenty-seven crit damage. Defense, uh, crit, wow, crit, whoa, health? Oh, man, okay, okay, okay. Every time, man, every time I look at Cody Cal, man, I get, I get really surprised at certain things, like, they're very unconventional. And 174 speed, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, because he has high base speed. But, wow. Very unconventional, 20 crit rate. All right, so one thing, one thing overarching all of this is Code is saying that uh, for RTA, he thinks defense is like probably the most important thing. So he uses a lot of defensive heroes, like people with high defense. So even on the most insignificant like DPS that people won't think about defense, he does. So it's pretty cool. Um, wow, that the the amount of stats you get on that with a health health neck, interesting. Uh, Little Queen Charlotte. So he's got her built. So first time looking at this, 180, 182 speed, 71 crit rate, 263 crit damage, 3,500 attack. That's very high attack on immunity set. The defense is slightly lower, but with their damage mitigation, I think it's okay. You already... Wow. You already almost maxed here. And he has a triple S, right? So self def ah, that's why, that's why. There's a there's about a seven hundred, like fifty or so defense, right? No, not seven hundred. No, what am I talking about? Um not seven hundred. Uh like like something like like a hundred hundred oh it's worth one thirteen. Okay, one thirteen defense. There you go. One thirteen defense with uh eighteen self imprint. Will things, man. Will things. Uh, we got 13, 13 speed, 17 attack, 14 health. I mean, this is pretty okay. It's all everywhere, uh, but it's everything that Charlotte needs. Crit chance is 17 health and crit damage and 6 speed. 13 speed, 15 health, 18 defense, 12 crit rate. 21 health, 9 crit rate, 11 attack, and flat health. Wait, what is this? It's crit damage, okay. And then attack, 27 crit damage, 15 health, 3 crit rate, flat attack. And then we got the boot on, 14 speed, 17 crit damage. A very solid MO Charlotte. Um, I was uh, moving things around just to see what I can get. I, Wow, that's, that attack is very impressive. The, the attack is very impressive with, with uh, the helmet not having attack. Pretty low on the weapon. It is pretty impressive attack, actually. Oh no, the fact that you have it on attack boot, that, okay, that makes sense, but uh, that's very fast then. That's very fast. Dang, dang. Um, I guess he hasn't, have you tested her in RTA yet? At this point? I know this is like very, this is like hot off the press build Little Queen Charlotte. 
What's the artifact? It's the uh, Alencia, Alencia artifact. In Hell Raid, yes, not in RTA? Okay. I'm surprised you didn't actually max this out before you max the S1. Um, but yours will do damage though. Yours will do damage. I was not expecting a 3500 attack. Um, but anyways, let's move. So Luna, he says, is hunt only. So we might not need to spend that much time on it. Still impressive. Um, but yeah, it's, it's okay. Let's take a look at the, the rules here. 30 attack. Ooh, 25 crit damage. Crit chance, crit damage. Hunt only gear, just keep in mind. Or hunt only uh, character. Okay, cool. Uh, ML Cecilia, 200 speed, 248 crit damage, 80 crit rate, 2100 attack. Very good, very good ML Cecilia. Not on immunity, 18% self imprint on a 7000 plus base. Okay. Uh, that's very solid. Uh, in terms of a DPS uh, ML, MLCC, this is a very strong one. The attack is overlooked. Although her attack mods are low, her attack should be a priority if you want to go for damage CC. Mine is on high attack as well. Uh, but you got the speed and the HP coupled with the attack, which makes this a very impressive build. Um, 26 attack right there. Uh, 27 health. 13 effectiveness crit rate 10 speed defense crit chance health crit damage with health and crit rate high rolls health 11 speed and then crit damage crit chance and attack not on immunity set that would be the only thing i would say i, w I do prefer mlcc on immunity even though at 200 speed two okay so that's very solid very good rolls i mean you can use that gear on the dps it's solid too but he chooses it for uh for mlcc it's pretty cool plus 30 elbrus and then a ravi i know as this quickly became one of code's top used characters too um maxed oh wait do you have imprints no uh Looks to be a pretty standard ML Robbie. The speed is faster than most ML Robbies. 171 on a counter set that is. Uh, with that kind of stats though, it's very good. Um, I do like a, actually no, actually let me take that back. Uh, 171 is very fast actually for a counter set Robbie very fast with counters at Ravi. So now in terms of a, statistic, a stat distribution, this is a very, very solid MO Ravi. Now people could complain like, oh, it has le less HP, crit damage isn't high enough or whatever, but uh, given what he has, the amount of attack, the health is good, the defense is good, the speed is very fast on a counter set. Um, this is very solid. Yeah, so he's covering himself and uh, one piece that's weak, he's actually having it covered on the other 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 gear. So very interesting distribution. I like that one. Um Only 90% crit, shake my head. Uh ML oh sorry, uh yeah, ML Zorado. Doesn't look like you do use anything outside of what's a speed? Maybe just PvE? I know you didn't say on this, but say much on this, but it's a lifesteal with speed, low crit damage. RTA? RTA? Alright. Uh tanky enough. Damage wise. Tankiness greater than damage? Okay. Then hmm. Then I would say this is not tanky enough. Is that Effectiveness self imprint. Okay. In terms of the defense, but uh, he does have a defense buff and he's 165 speed. So I guess that's okay. He's got a violin. Max violin, you lucky? Oh, well, no, he's, he's not even that lucky, man. Well, 
now everybody could get a max violin if they want ssb now this is where it gets interesting so code is saying that abuse drink uh go full tanky for rta remember he's in legend rank 15 at the moment full tanky rta just abuse the drink so he's prioritizing more defensive stats so people can't kill you and then just killing them off over time so he's got uh, some broken sets he's got a crit set and he's got uh, immunity set which is vital for the speed that he's at let's take a look we got a uh, 24 health 9 speed 14 attack 20 attack crit chance is 14 and then so I'm, I'm assuming the the right side gear is going to be like mix of hp mains and defense mains yeah defense effectiveness health yep attack crit damage so i think i think this is a, a testament for maybe some newer players or mid-tier players who want to you know improve an rta game if you're willing to commit to codes level of like rebuilding your heroes just for rta um perhaps think about this consider this so gear like even like necklaces that are defense on a crit set with like offensive stats most people probably won't keep that uh but look at this right um i think this is a good lesson for us um it's what's making code successful right now oh defense on the ooh, boot as well okay i was not expecting that uh crit damage attack and yeah so stuff like this like if we saw that i mean that's solid rolls right there but on a defense main people would be like oh, would i use this you know i know i know some players here, even myself if i got a gear like this without it rolled i'd probably like ask like would i roll this right on a lifesteal set defense but he's going for off offset here just going for the sub stats with the main stat and uh, making it work so that's pretty cool the sub stats on those three are 75 percent attack ah i see i see um all right next is ken which we looked at charles he's also built him tanky as well He's saying that Charles does th that's actually still really strong Charles with that much tankiness. Okay, the speed is lower. Uh, it's on a counter set, but that's actually still decent damage counter Charles. Most people do struggle with getting counter Charles really high. Either it's on attack or a speed boot, but you're going full out just on substats. Um, Yes, because yeah, so SSB can abuse the drink for the damage. Uh, Charles just if you get if you stack a lot of buffs on him, his damage just goes up high. We didn't know about this. I used to run very very long time ago. I used to run just a tanky Charles with uh, like the, about the same amount of attack and a crit damage, and I really didn't notice that much of a difference. But I know people are like really throttling that Charles like 270, 270 crit damage, three thousand three plus three thousand plus attack, that kind of Charles. Um, although that is scary, but I think in an RTA setting, if you can control the fight, the longer he, the longer Code sustains the fight, the scarier this Charles becomes, um, because that defense becomes more useful, uh, and the damage becomes less and less worthy because the health drops with Battle Frenzy. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, he has the crit chance imprint to himself, so 16.8% on that. Very solid for Bruiser. Uh, we got a 20 crit damage, 10 speed. Okay, you're making up a lot of your speed there um, on that one weapon. Uh, 27 health, defense, effectiveness, crit chance. You got crit chance, you got health, 34. High roll, high roll. Uh, effectiveness and speed, you got uh, crit damage, crit chance, health, and attack attack main with defense effectiveness crit chance and then you got that defense with health attack flat health very good for charles and then nine crit damage so overall very good um alencia oh hold on let's see if i'm missing anything he's still using the smash proc one okay alencia also very solid double crit with immunity set on a speed boot and yes i remember this we pulled sss alencia so i don't think he's regretting this uh that's very 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 good
The effectiveness is slightly lower, but I know he she does Mind's Eye. And you're on her Durandal as well. I do like her on Durandal. I, I prefer her with more effectiveness anyway, but yeah, I, I guess so. I guess that's... That's fine. Mind's Eye proc, 30% more. 60... 64%. Effectiveness. Health. Crit damage. Attack. Crit chance. Crit damage. Full DPS Charles can't kill tank SSB. Alright, so that's code... Alencia greater than Charles in RTA. Yeah. I mean, she does so much for the team. I do like her. I do like her. Mine's not as well built. I think I need to put more love into her. Uh, Momo... Very good stats all around. The tankiness factor of her with that speed and the effect resistance is good. Uh, I mean, Momo... I mean, do you even use her in RT? I don't think you need to. I don't think you've... I don't think you've had to change her much, right? In a while. Most likely she's kind of your pit stop where you're moving better gear onto other healers, but she kind of remains the same. That's how I'm kind of yeah, no? Okay. That's how I'm kind of doing my uh doing mine for Momo as well. She's often like the pit stop. I'm like, okay, I need like a better resistance gear on like let's say a crow. And then I like move that off uh of her and then give her some other gear. But she's still good. Wait, immunity neck? Oh, he's sorry, sorry, talking, talking to someone on stream chat. Okay, um, Crow, very solid, uh, with 144 effect resistance, with, uh, triple S. <laughs> so many memories code, all a triple S summon session. Uh, 1500 defense, 21,000 HP, 192 speed with that effect resistance. This is a scary crowd to fight. Um, definitely usable in RTA. Crow is very usable in RTA. Uh, but outside of RTA, even, uh, defense, defense GVG, offense GVG, very solid, very packed, uh, Kral, very well built. Uh, Basar, he says Basar, he used on budget gear, uh, obviously not super fast, the effectiveness is fine, uh, potentially, potentially pocket pick, like things for RTA, he didn't say that, the defense is really good though. Uh, mages do have high defense. Take a quick glance at this. Yeah, he's he's on spear gear for sure. He's good, not focusing on much uh, much of the important substats. Just getting the speed he needs. One two three four. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, Snitch, you pointing out that defense. One two three four. It's all it's all planned. Biking is hunt only. He said. So okay. Uh, let's just quickly take a look. Hunt only gear. Okay, ML Ken. Let's take a look. Alright, so he is going for the beefier ML Ken. Hard to kill in RTA. If he could leave that ML Ken out and he can kill off some sort of single target or guaranteed, like, defense breaker code, that is. If he could kill that off. Or just ban that. That ML can is just going to be annoying to deal with. Won't be easy to kill. The damage is not that bad already. And the the, the tankiness aspect is just insane on this one. Um, like, I'm pretty sure k -Ron won't be able to one-shot you. Maybe. Maybe. With an attack buff. After he's damaged without the Sigur Scythe Helium. But in most cases, this is going to be out tanking most sorts of damage. So he will be able to last. Um, that uh, that defense is good. 31 defense. Wow. Thirty health. Crit damage is thirteen. Have you ever thought of uh, trying to get a, a defense helmet with the 88 immunity chest? It's just so you could potentially get higher rules. And maybe a health health based uh, 88. I was trying to I was trying to look into that. Um, attack ring 88 defense uh, the 88 defense helmet, the 88 immunity 
chest, the 88 immunity boot, the 88 health weapon, and then a crafted one. That's like that would be like dream build in my opinion. If I could get like really good rules, I think. Um But anyways, but that's just the ideas. Alright, we got a dizzy on immunity set. So definitely used I guess I guess for cancer comps in terms of the Charles uh Charles RB Lilius, Charles RB MLCC. Got immunity on that first turn there too, so that could be good. No pushback. RTA did yeah, RTA Dizzy, yeah, she's not even in RTA yet. Yeah. Oh you already got the you already got the the Hell Raid uh drop thing. Already rolled really well. Wow. Sixteen speed. Two hundred and six speed on a counter set. Hold your phone. Hold on. Wait, that didn't really register to me until now. Two hundred and six speed on a counter set. With eighteen thousand HP and twelve hundred defense. Eighty one effectiveness. The frick? What? Wow. Okay, that's pretty that's pretty darn crazy, man. That's pretty darn crazy. Uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally I totally agree with the comments on the stream. It must be good to be a whale. Uh the whale is an aspect of it. He whaling getting more gear. I said this before. Whale uh, allows you to get more gear, which allows you to roll better gear. Um, but there's a lot of stuff that Code would have to have rolled in order to get the gear that he has. Unless he just gets insane luck on every piece, but I highly doubt it. With that much good gear, 230 Cleary, very solid. Uh, good RTA as well. He's got this random... Wow, okay, that rolled well. <laughs> got some broken sets, but uh, that rolled well. Uh... 7 speed, 20 health, 12 speed, 9 speed, 18 defense. So it's, it's a solid uh, Falcon and Cleary for sure. She's definitely being used a lot more now. I could see that. Um, yeah, the ring is a bit Papega. But, I mean, you got the defense there. You got the flat health. Uh, she's a 3 star. And you got the speed. It's better than nothing. It's better than nothing. Um, I would take that. Alright, and we got Ruol. Wait, what is she on? She's on Adam and she, okay. We got Ruel. Uh, 131 effect resistance. Have you ever thought of going on a, just a resist set? I know you got some good stuff here, but I think a resist set would just really finish off that 150 effect resistance. What is her... self imprint is health. Ooh. Time to get more Destinas. 190 speed too. 190 speed effect resistance. I, I I'm gonna give him the same critique here. Just because it's code doesn't mean I just let him off the hook. I will say though, not 150 effect resistance. Um, I think you could do a bit better. But it it is yes it is a one a one. F he's not on a he is on effect resistance. Uh, a 190 speed Ruel with that kind of stats, defense and health wise, is very good. And his effect resistance is near, is near the, the point where I say that that's a solid, solid Ruel. Um, outside of, I can I can see why he has to keep these two though. They're, they they This literally has all the subsets Ruel needs. Like those four subsets are everything she needs. So it will be hard to change that. And this one's good too. It will be hard to change that for a resistance set. Um, he just has to, let's see. They're all near perfect. Maybe the weapon could be upgraded. Health, defense, flat health, speed, effect resistance, or just those, those three without the speed. How's the Mola? Oh, uh, he has a uh, max healing on that and he has the cooldown on this one. All right, so we got the end. 220 speed. Uh, okay, you haven't changed much since uh, when you pulled her, but she's been solid since. Uh, would you not just want to imprint concentrate her? Just no, no. Actually, no, no. It would be better if she's she's on an attack imprint. 
right? Because she's going into the support where she's attack buffing. So, yeah, she's attack buffer. Yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. Never mind, I take that back. Uh, 220 speed, very solid. Uh, with uh, 1500 defense, 15,000 health, 130 effect resistance. This is a very good DN, very balanced. Um, I still prefer my DN on immunity on a first turn, but 220 speed is getting to the place where she almost doesn't need it, but I still prefer DN on immunity. Um, you don't know on that first turn what people can do. That uh, Lilla, that Lilla, Lilius provoke or whatever, you know, soul burn it. Um, I still like everyone on immunity. All right, um, Alina, 215 speed, speed set, uh, 140 effect resistance with 27 effect resistance imprint. <laughs> Very good. Uh, tanky enough. I mean, she has the invincibility for one turn, so you don't need her super tanky. If she doesn't last, I mean, she won't be the first one to die. Let's put that. Let's put it in that. Uh, put it that way. Um, so that's okay. That's good. Very good. F Maya. F Maya. Right. You're going pure tank F Maya. Uh, 26,000 HP, 2,000 defense with, uh, yeah, so she's just light bait for him. Don't think we need to see this. I think we reviewed this last time. Uh, just so I'll just quickly glimpse this for people who are watching this video later. Yeah. Okay, Aureus. Uh, we got, uh, Akate's. Okay, Akate's build, I'm definitely more interested into looking at. Got the health imprint there very fast very healthy so really good heals with the 14 percent health imprint she's she's near 19,000 hp near 19,000 hp um so her heals are gonna be really good the defense is really good the speed is really good a fast akates is very nice to have i would definitely say 190 plus is a must have effect resistance is good as long as he has the s3 uh with that uh that buff Let's take a look 30 effect resistance. Ooh, what a piece. 8 speed, 20 defense, 13 effect resistance, 25 effect resistance, 5 speed, and an on immunity set. That is very good on a first turn for Akates there. Again, the same problem is that uh, she, she wants to get that buff up before she something happens to her. The resistance buff, that is. Speed, defense, health, flat health. We got health. Effect resistance, effectiveness, defense, speed. And we got uh, health as 32, speed boot, and a, a re effect resistance there. They're usable for her. It's very nice. Close to your assistant. <laughs> okay, he says the, that mate is on scrap gear. What? He says mate is on budget gear. Oh, well, okay, kind of, kind of, I see, I see what he means. So no effect resistance made Chloe, uh, but with immunity set, uh, it's a must have if you do not have effect resistance, but I think code knows effect resistance made Chloe is the way to go. Very good HP on this one. Uh, he's, uh, he's, he says, yeah, he says on budget gear, man. Good HP, good speed, good defense. Uh, let's put it that way. The, so nothing wrong with it, except the effect resistance is too low. Um, Suppose if he uses her in RTA or even GVG, uh, he will have to ensure that his team is going in for, like, sustaining outside of her her usefulness. So in the sense of that, if she can get off the S3, um, and get the revive buff up, her job is done. Like that's that's kind of like the mindset, and uh, the tankiness with the speed there is just enough there. So if they don't kill off Mate Chloe, uh, still the same problem. So there really isn't really a big problem with her on a low effect resistance, except the fact that she could be infinitely provoked. Um, but she's on immunity for that first turn, so it's pretty safe. I think it's okay. Code only uses six units for GVG, uh, and she's not one. I see, I see. So RTA, I'm a, I'm assuming Code would draft her in RTA still because she's solid, um, even as a counter pick, so that the other player can't pick her is still a good strategy sometimes but if code i'm assuming if code does pick her most likely uh depending on the fight but most likely a, a third fourth kind of pick uh not a pocket pick i think by then may clothes are usually picked uh gunther not built helga not built strip now he did have a really solid build before 
Luluka, Syria, Euphine, not built. Not built? Okay, yeah, he doesn't go for that nuke. He, he goes for the sustained fight. Um... Oh, ZZ, man. I'm not gonna say that on the video recording there. Um, okay, so that's it, right? Is that all you built? Mercer is plus 15. No? Yeah, so we're done. We're done. So that's codes. All right, so very solid roster. I mean, okay, so so from CP going down, these are uh, out of, outside of like the Luna and the Biken being Hunt. Uh, these are very solid. Definitely like the top picks in RTA. Momo is just always good. Bizarre can. Yeah, so these are like the top picks in RTA. Very good GVG heroes as well. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't see. So yeah, code focuses on. So we stops at May Chloe. So code focuses on a lot on those core heroes. Definitely expanded his core compared to the last review. And every one of them is built like a monster. Um, definitely higher than average. So that's very good. Thank you for allowing us to do this code. Just making sure I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think I've missed anything. Like he actually literally doesn't even gear anyone else. How do you do world boss? Like you don't even gear anyone else. Hold on. Let's take a look at the equipment here. Yeah, very, very finite selection, actually. Um, very well-tuned selection. He doesn't actually have as much gear as you would think, but that, that goes along with what I was saying. My speculation on uh, he he rolls a lot, he crafts a lot or whatever, and converts a lot, and whatever it's trash, he just, he just tosses it. He does not spend any charms into something that does not have potential. Yeah, in comparison to even even some of the some of my guildmates and even myself, he actually doesn't have as much gear as I would think. So it's very good. Yeah, everything is well built. Yes, that's that's basically the very the core essence of this account review. It's very everything is well built, very fine tuned. Um, so anyway, so that's it for this one. Codes account review, and of course the first time seeing ML Charlotte as uh, one of the builds. I know people will be looking and looking for ML Charlotte builds and how they use them, but I think Code will most likely use her in RTA. I think she's a solid pick in RTA regardless. Uh, use her in RTA and see what he needs to tune. So we'll definitely see. Wait, you want me to RTA? Code wants me to RTA before I sign off. Don't uh crap. Kinda I kinda gotta know his his characters here. Um Okay, he doesn't have C Armin built, right? He didn't have C Armin built. It doesn't even have C Armin? No, okay, so I can't rely on that. So I have to I have to see. Maybe, maybe okay, maybe a uh, little Queen Charlotte debut. So we got the damage mitigation. Let's go. Let's go for one. I kind of want to try Little Queen Charlotte. Okay, they get first pick. So this should be... They went RB. Uh, let's go Let's go SSB. Okay, so Code is actually giving me a draft selection here. So he still wants to win. But... SSB and Kral, okay. Uh, but he's gonna, he's gonna showcase... His characters here. Wow, Krow a second pick. That would be unexpected. You'd have to have a lot of confidence in Krow. Do you know who I We got a Bassar. I'll show you my power. He's top third player. He's got a he's got a Zerato. Ruel and Kron. Okay. Uh this is pretty exciting, man. Alright, let's go. Kron Ruel. He's going Oxalots. So he's gonna try to one-shot things. Um, what's the last pick? ML Charlotte. Ooh. Okay. And what do we ban? Ban 
see dong okay all right let's go ban see dong here we go ban out k-ron all right mo charlotte debut man i'm pretty excited about this in any imprints yeah we do we should ssb no oh self imprint oh everybody self imprinted right everybody self imprinted okay so let's find that maybe i shouldn't put oh maybe i shouldn't put crawl in front i should put ruel in front no maybe maybe not i could revive i'm strong i'll do everything I can. Oh, nice oh, 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 oh. Sure Alright, what do we do? What do we do, Code? Um, don't know what I should do on this one. S1 RB? Okay. Whoa! Time for a counter. See a soul burn. Okay. Push us back. Be crit, heal, crit little Queen Charlotte. So that is a 15% CR boost to herself. Oh, she got stunned. Witness my power. Okay, we got some. Uh, we got some bad luck. Don't waste my time. Now is All right, time code. To drive this. We gotta ask one. I asked three. Someone, I think. Right. Horse Serato. Okay. Let's see how long you can do. And then uh, Ruel is coming up next. Uh, what do you want me to do with Ruel? Cleanse uh, Little Queen Charlotte? No, Basari gets another turn. Heal SSB, so like the cleanse or the re uh, the revive. I'll go with the cleanse if you don't uh, reply in the S2. Okay. Grant me strength. I'll make you pay for touching. <laughs> Got attack down, but that's okay. The drink. Wow. Okay, this guy like makes no hesitation on the move here. Who else alive? Uh, do I just ask three? Cause I don't know what I could do here. Okay. I ran out of time actually on that one. So miss two. Oxlots is unhealable. Not much I could do there. He's just gonna pump my time to shine. RB. Think it's over? Dark blade. Wow. Okay, that's very tanky SSP. Alright, I think it's over. It's okay, it's okay. Hey man, we, we've seen the tankiness. It's good. But GG, that was you. Wait, Kev B zero, that's you. Ah, feels bad, man. Oh, are you kidding? What the frick? All right, all right. So I think for the video recording, I I do have to end this here. Um, again, thank you for uh, thank you for Code again for this uh, insight onto his his build and his strategy techniques. Hopefully, this has been actually. Uh, useful, uh, especially for uh, players that are you know building up their characters, especially if they're going for RTA. So I'm gonna end uh, this uh, for the video recording sake. If you guys have Discord, check out the Discord server. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to YouTube if you haven't. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.